The eccentric training protocol for Achilles pain is probably one of the most commonly prescribed exercise protocols to help improve Achilles tendon problems. Um, the reason is that it works well for a lot of people, um, but for some people it doesn't. And in this video, I want to just try and explain a few of the things that contribute to why perhaps it's not always the answer for everybody. I'm Steph, I'm one of the physios at treatmyachilles.com uh, where you can get an online assessment if you need one. If you, this is something you want, then have a look at the description for this video and you'll find the details there. So firstly, we have to consider how long you've had your Achilles pain for. If you've only just injured your tendon and it's only been painful for, say, a few days to a week because of perhaps a sudden change or a sudden increase in your training load, then you might have what we call an acute reactive tendon, which means the tendon's reacted to the change in load by giving you pain. Um, it's, it's your tendon's way of telling you that it's done too much. Um, and in this case, it's not the time to do any eccentric heel drops, or like the Alfredson protocol, or um, any sort of calf raises with weight because it's telling you it's overloaded. So the last thing it wants to do is be overloaded even more. However, if you've had your tendon pain for months or even years, and perhaps calf raises don't give it any trouble, but it hurts when you run, then maybe eccentric heel drops, so eccentric is just the downward motion, um, maybe eccentric is not enough. And actually you need to be adding concentric to your movement uh, so that you can increase the strength pushing off for running. And you might well need to be adding weight if you're not doing that already, because running is a much higher load uh, and requires more strength. The range of movement is also important because it depends on whether the tendon is irritated in the mid portion, which is the middle of the tendon, or down on the insertion, which is down on the heel. The insertional Achilles tendons tend not to like being on a stretch so much. So these are also ones that you don't necessarily want to start in the early stages with going full range into a heel drop off a step you might want to keep them at a lower range of movement that doesn't irritate them quite so much. However, if you're a, a runner who runs up and down hills a lot and you're at the later stages in your rehab, then this is where you might want to do larger ranges of movement, so off a step, full range, because actually when you're running up and down hills, you will need more range of movement. Another point I want to make is about sets and reps and weight. So a lot of the eccentric training protocols will follow the three times 15 twice a day uh, program because that's what was researched and published. Um, but when you think about it, it really does depend on what each individual can tolerate. So if for example, a marathon runner who has a long training history of a lot of muscular endurance, does three lots of 15 reps, that might not be enough and it might be too easy for them, in which case they won't be getting the same training stimulus that they, they need. Whereas somebody else who's reasonably sedentary might find that three lots of 15 is too much and end up flaring up their Achilles. So you do need to bear in mind different people's individual differences. Secondly, when you're adding weight, um, rather than pick, say, 10 kilograms, you really need to also take into consideration what percentage of that person's body weight that is. So 10 kilograms to a 50 kilogram female is going to be a lot more than 10 kilograms to a 100 kilogram male, for example. So it's another consideration that might mean that using a very rigid standard protocol might not be the best way to deal with your Achilles pain. I hope this has helped you to understand why there are so many different things we need to think about when choosing what exercise to give you for your Achilles pain. And it hopefully will help you understand why perhaps you haven't been getting anywhere if you've just been doing one type of exercise um, that doesn't necessarily apply exactly to what you need your Achilles to do. If you want any more information, please do take a look at our website, treatmyachilles.com. Uh, otherwise, good luck with it and uh, I hope you found this useful.